So sometimes I feel really weird. Like I wake up and I just feel weird. Like, like this. I think it's just anxiety and it's always in my head, obviously. But just because something's in my head doesn't mean it's not like bothering me, you know? Um, and so I just, I don't know. I, I felt really like restless. Like I want to do something and I know I have work, which is something to do. Well, I mean like something like silly to do. And so another thing, sometimes I'm like sitting and I just get this overwhelming feeling that I'm going to die. <laughs> that I'm literally going to die. Like I had, I have it like more frequently recently. But it's just like, I'm sitting, it's normal, it's fine. And then all of a sudden I just get this feeling that like, I feel like I'm going to die. I'm going to die and I can feel it and it's going to happen. And I'm, it's not even like a, oh, I'm scared thing. Let's go do something stupid while I still can. It's more like, I just like, I want to remember the good things, you know? So obviously I'm at Barnes & Noble. The good things, just kidding. But like, I don't know, like I just... I was like, conflicted on where to go. I was like, oh, I want to go to Barnes & Noble. Or, oh, I wanted to go to downtown Sarasota and sit on the roof, which I used to do a lot last year. Well, I'm sorry, I'm like digging in my ankle. <laughs> um, and I was super conflicted while driving, which is a bad thing. So I was like, uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to stick with the original plan that I came up with in the morning when I was feeling like I was going to die soon. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and then maybe I'll go to the pet store because I want to look at the... the rodents but yeah <laughs> returned from the barnes and noble and I, I i know i said i wasn't gonna spend money on things until my next paycheck which is next week bi-weekly but i i got tipped over the weekend and i feel like i really did earn that tip so um I decided to spend it after like harboring it for a little bit and thinking about everything. So, um, I got this. Oh, haunted house! It's so cute! And it comes with a little dude and a little ghost outfit, which isn't the ghost outfit, but it's a ghost outfit. And look! Yes! I think I might unbox it on a video um, from my story. Oops. But look, all my little critters can live in there. I don't know. It just spoke to me. And then another thing, um, covered by my tip was I got um, Metamorphosis by Friends Kafka. I, I've known about this book for a while, but then I saw a video on TikTok of this little beetle not being able to flip over. And um, obviously I thought about the book. And so I was just like, it is time. It is time to fully read it and understand it because it's November. It's November. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. I know it will make sense to some of you. It is November, which means it is metamorphosis time. A beetle not being able to flip over. That's that's November, I feel like, to me at least. And uh, yeah, it's a really cute book. I love the design, by the way. I know it's like, it doesn't matter what's on the inside that matters, which is 100% true, guys. Don't get me wrong. But uh, also, as a designer, as a digital design student, this is cool. This is cool, and I like it. Good job. Um, and yeah, so I will have to go to work soon. But uh, I do want to go and look at the <laughs> rodents. I'm bring my stuff because it's gonna be a quick stop. But this is the um, pet store that I got my um, bearded dragon from. So memories. <laughs> Hashtag uneventful, but that's okay. I looked at that, that, that's okay. I have to go to work now, but it was really fun loitering and trying to occupy the mind and trying to occupy the mind in a world full of chaos. You know what I mean? Uh, uh. Ah. to work but i'm still in the car i'm always in the car but it's not a bad thing like my mom she's always like and it's like 
yes, I am always behind the wheel, but I like it. I actually, I really do like it. And I remember when I was a preteen. I was always so like, oh, I can't wait to get older and be able to drive everywhere. I can't wait to drive because I just wanted that like independence. I, I didn't want to rely on anyone to ever drive me because I always felt like it was so burdensome, even though it's not. Like asking my mom to like, hey mom, can you drop me off and hang out with my friends? You know, and stuff like that. Like it always bothered me to ask. So that's why I was so like eager to like get my license. Um, even though I didn't even get it right away when I turned however old you have to be when you can start getting it because then COVID hit and all that DMV stuff got postponed but I do like it and like I'll always like I enjoy it it's like very like my mind my brain likes it because I'm like focused I don't know I never find it difficult I'm never like oh I have to drive somewhere it's always like I'm gonna drive somewhere hey do you want me to pick you up you know I don't know I just that's just the type of shit I've been on but yeah, I really need to pee. But, um, I don't want to go to work early. I hate going into work early. You know, actually, while I was driving, I got this idea. I was like, what if I get another job? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because um, I work a lot, but I feel like I could be making a lot more if, let's say, I worked in food service, because people love keeping people who are awesome and cute, like me. And so I'm, I was, like, thinking, like, obviously I'll keep this job, because it's, like, my thing. But maybe, like, an over-the-weekend job, I can be, like, a server. But I feel like you have to be, I don't know, maybe when I kind of came. I just got that idea for some reason. Uh, but yeah, um... I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this video. Um, I might just post it on my story and just, like, let people skip it. Where am I posted? I don't know. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Obviously, I'm a little bit too late for the gig, kind of. But I, I wanna post because I have things to say. I just, I don't know. I like talking. I like, I like being... You know, actually, my future goal maybe is like to have a podcast like i would like to have a little podcast sometimes i say something and my sister's like you should have a podcast and i'm like but then i'd be so insufferable i'd be so insufferable like hey guys for the podcast you know but um yeah i'm out of much uh yeah um yeah so far i don't have much to say so i will go oh yeah i've been eating almonds like a little snack like a little treat but not even in like a weird way like not bella hadid way obviously but in like a i'm a little squirrel type of way like <laughs> or a hamster or a hamster because hamsters eat like little seeds that's the type of shit I've been on. But yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. I am on my government enforced break. Mm -hmm. I'm eating a hachapuri. It's like Slavic quesadillas, kind of. Kind of. And I don't like my new boss. It's literally just, I think it's just an age gap thing because. She was like, she was like sitting there, and then she was like, she said a joke, and it was really, really not funny. Like it was really not funny, and I was, I like looked at her, and then I like looked down, but she was like, don't you ever smile? And I was like, why would I smile at work? Especially like I know I'm on the clock and I should laugh at my boss's jokes, but it just like it wasn't funny, and I couldn't even pretend that it was funny. It was just so like, <laughs> you know. And she was like, don't you ever smile? Let's have fun. Let's smile. And she was being like kind of passive aggressive, and. For a second there, I felt bad. I was like, shit, like, man, I'm being so negative, like, blah, blah, blah. But then I thought about it, and I had to rethink how I thought, because, like, she shouldn't make me feel bad because she's not funny, you know? So, um, anyway. She should not make me feel bad because she was unfunny like she totally kind of like made kind of like she felt bad that like she wasn't funny and she turned it on me that it was my fault if that makes sense does that make sense and for a second i felt bad and like really self-conscious like damn maybe i should be laughing like why am i being so negative but it's like no she made me feel bad into feeling like i was the problem and i'm glad i caught it i'm glad i caught it because I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting older and more experienced with like situations with people 
but I used to not notice that and I used to feel bad all the time when really it's just like she felt insecure and she kind of like turned it on me obviously it's not that deep because we were just like chit chatting but yeah this is where all the smokers take their break but I can sit here because I'm cool enough but yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. yep I don't even have a sweet drink anymore I just have a little water bottle like the heck I requested like a good amount of days off for December because it's like my birthday and then I have like a couple school things coming up that are literally on the days that I work for but I'm hoping I can make up those like financial absences with the fact that I will be working longer shifts during winter break. But yeah. It really is like I'm in a different chapter because I've gone through like this specific era before like with my job and like being able to drive like it's something that I've done before last year but it's like I'm living it again and I'm different. So it's like the experience and outcome is different. But yeah. These construction workers don't know about girl bloggers. <laughs> but I do. No shame to them. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna go. I was just replaying some videos. Please ignore how many times I say the word like. I noticed a problem and I will work on it. I see how it's a word that has been that has been abused by me. Not to mention that um, it makes me sound like I'm unsure or, or perhaps like I'm tiptoeing around a point where sometimes it's truth, but I should really just have more certainty in what I say sometimes, especially if I know what it's about. So I got it. Sorry if you caught it beforehand, or sorry if this video is ruined to you because I pointed out how many times I say the word like. But I hope, I hope you guys can be with me on this journey of fixing this problem. I feel like a part of getting older means um, realizing that certain BS isn't serious. For example, expiration dates. Specifically on um, packaged items because... Um, it's good. I'll let you guys know if I start vomiting. My friends, the moment you've all been waiting for, the unboxing of the amazing Calico Critter house. Um, I don't remember buying it, which is kind of fantastic because I get like buyer's remorse after spending money on things that aren't like a necessity, but it's okay. <laughs> I have never had a Calico Critter playset. Pretty stoked about that. Obviously, a very little pamphlet with all of... Oh my gosh, this is... This is like almost a, like a birth control um, paper. And then there's supposed to be some movements happening in the haunted house. And because of that, they give an instruction, but I think I can figure it out. I think I can figure it out. I'm pretty good with... December stuff. Um, I need to free him. Free the little cat. Free the little cats. I love the little cats because they are so cute and awesome. Free him! Free him! He did nothing wrong! He did nothing wrong. I thought it smelled like something, but it didn't. Okay. Criminal. This little guy. Oh, right. So it has an elevator, a spooky elevator, which I'm so excited about because it's awesome sauce. And here are the little place things. I love doing this type of stuff. I feel... I won't say I had, like, early access, like early access to the internet, but I did have... I did spend a good amount of time on the internet, especially as a middle schooler. And... I've loved always watching unboxing videos, and I loved watching little dollhouse making videos, so this is like my domain. <laughs> and a 
little ghost couch. This is perfect. This is so gothic, of course. I love this gothic interior. And, um... Oh my gosh, this big head. Oh, I'd like to hear a commotion for the dress. <laughs> this is everything. This is everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hate this part of the packaging. It's so not awesome sauce. Just hate it. But it's okay. I'll speed all this up. I learned how to speed everything up. I um, am making this in iMovie, so. It's gonna be hashtag awesome! Hashtag yay! Hashtag sloppy! You're gonna see picture I'm filming a YouTube video. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so. I wish I had something important to talk about, but I think I'm being pretty normal. Oh, wait, never mind. At work, while I was throwing away the trash, and I was thinking about a lot of things, I recalled a video that I once watched, and I don't think I really much agree with it. It was talking about how, oh, you shouldn't internalize your feelings because it's kind of harmful, which I agree with certain. I can't, I don't even know if you hear me over the sound of... Like, but the video was speaking about internalizing your feelings, and they were saying how it's a negative thing, but personally, I don't think it is in my case. I feel like a lot of my ideas and conclusions come because I, I'm so like, in touch with what I'm feeling, you know? And obviously, feelings are going to be naturally internalized, kind of, because feelings are always inside of you, you know? Like, yeah, you know, it's all, all of them are harboring inside of you, if that makes sense, but whatever. I don't know, I just remember that, and I was thinking about that, and I was like, oh, I should include it in my YouTube video. I'm sorry, this is like, girls are not supposed to be opening packaging like this. Just kidding, I'm like a boy on my job, I'm always like, well, let me lift the box up. <sighs> because everyone else at work is so petite, and I'm the only tall one. creature there you have it's a ghost calico critter like it's an actual ghost it's a furry little ghost which um okay <laughs> um and then this is awesome ah, i love toys anyway um okay let me just collect the trash okay Let's look at what we have here. So, this is the house. Oh, yeah. This is the cat. This is his outfit. This is an elevator. Because obviously, you need an elevator in a haunted house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Meow, meow. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, this goes somewhere. But I chose not to read the instruction. <laughs> but it's supposed to like... Oh, is this, is this it? Is this... Is this... I think that's the deal. Um... Oh, okay. Um, this little guy. What? It can go over here. Yes. I love how versatile this is. Mm, pinch the back of the pedestal with your fingers to move it. Oh, okay. This is my touch thing. Oh, yeah. Ghosts are real. I'm afraid of ghosts. Anyway. Um, um pushing this around... It's pretty uh, darn awesome. We have a TV, and it's kind of like the rings. Like, it could literally be like... And then there's a couch. Let's see if it can sit in it. Of course. Yes, perfect. Okay, this is quite lovely. It's quite a lovely little setup we got there. I love watching TV as a cat. Um, so this is actually perfect and I am happy with the price of it. I think it's really awesome. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 perfect. I saw this, um... TikTok, I know, that's, that's a horrible way to start a sentence nowadays, but I saw this TikTok, and it was like, people who preferred organizational play are more likely to be anxious. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think about that. <laughs> Whenever I just, like, organize a little set. Oh, yes. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. 